Hi everyone and welcome back to JSA TV where we're coming to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress 2025. We are talking to leaders in across digital infrastructure about key stories, trends, news, innovation, all things impacting digital infrastructure. So uh, I am pleased to be joined, I'm Barb Mitchell and I'm pleased to be joined today by um, Sienna Sassan, who's the Global Enterprise Marketing Manager for Access Communications. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me again. Yes, it's always always a pleasure. And let's just jump right in if we can. I know that our, our viewers are familiar with Access Communication, but of course you're a security provider to some of the world's largest hyperscalers. Yes, that's right. um, a significant role for you to be playing as an organization, an important one. I, I want to lead in by asking the question of, given this importance, why is it that some people are not recognizing that how critical physical security is uh, to conversations around critical infrastructure? Yeah. So I think in this space uh, where we are in the data center industry, I definitely think it, don't, it doesn't get as much attention as it should since the global data center expansion is really reshaping uh, the, the very security as it is, um, since it's really not anymore about just protecting data, it's about protecting digital sovereignty, it's about protecting um, economic resilience and uh, the, the future of intelligence itself. So I definitely think it should, ha it should be there on higher up on the agenda at this type of shows and in the industry in general because due to there's so many risks associated with uh, a potential failure of any kind so let, let's talk about those risks yeah. you know and, and maybe people don't don't realize what they are but can you talk about what what risks specifically are, are facing the data center industry so they are from a again from a security perspective uh, they are multi-dimensional now that there's a new world order rising. Now I sound so dramatic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but literally. Um, so um, data centers are really a part of in digital infrastructure. So it's as critical as uh, power plants or telecom towers. And they are therefore really prime targets for attacks like cyber attacks or um, vulnerable to insider uh, type of threats, uh, let's say, especially in uh, um, politically sensitive regions or uh, countries, let's say, that lag AI infrastructure, that find themselves dependent on foreign uh, digital infrastructure so or data center operators. So in that case, the question arises, who controls your compute? for example, uh, and also um, there's risks as supply chain risks, since in this industry you have components that are rare, so that can create like geopolitical um, choke points, for example. Yeah. So the risks are really huge, it's like a wide spectrum, and uh, just to give you a few examples of them there. So when people hear this and they're thinking, okay, well now I know there are, there are all these risks I need to be thinking of, what do I do about it? I mean, do you have suggestions for some solutions? Uh, so um, when it comes to, first of all, uh, partnered up with uh, trusted, like strategic partners, trusted technology partners, I would say that's like number one. Uh, and then again, I feel like governments and private data center operator uh, data center operators need to really treat data center as critical infrastructure uh, and implement zero trust architecture uh, and have strict access control in every level. Uh, and we see, for example, uh, a lot of um, micro or edge data centers popping up in remote locations. Uh, these state facilities can be um, vulnerable to uh, to threats like, let's say, they have um, limited or weaker perimeter defense. 
So investigating, looking into that and in, in, uh, investing in stronger perimeter defense. But then it can also be like a sabotage doesn't need to be high tech. It can be cable cut or a localized power failure that can have massive and triple um, effects on that, for example. And so I will say overall, it's uh, about integrated physical and, and cyber security with smart surveillance uh, and AI powered with the AI powered analytics, not only for security, but also for operation efficiency, for business intelligence, knowing at all time what's going on at your site, seeing the patterns, uh, being proactive in your surveillance, getting those notification, real-time events, and, and uh, being ahead of something before it actually happens. But now I feel like uh, coming into that, we will touch upon a whole different topic, and I think we can pause there and yeah. save it for uh, for next time. Yeah, <laughs> there's always so much to talk yes, about, isn't exactly. there? And yeah, we, we appreciate you taking a few minutes from, I know it's a it's a busy show. It it's is, it's it is, really, really fantastic. Do you have anything especially that you're most looking forward to for the remainder of the week here at Data Cloud? Uh, we're so happy to this year. We are joining the event with um, in the pavilion with Digital Infrastructure Island with a lot of partners there. So we're, you know, seeing, meeting people in the ecosystem, getting to know, networking with people. It's always great. So pass by and we talk more about uh, smart surveillance. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. What Thank a you. great way to end this conversation. And we appreciate it. We look forward to speaking with you again down the road, not, so not too far into the distant future. Great. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV. That's it today for our, our live coverage, but come back and join us again tomorrow morning where we'll be coming to you live on day two of Data Cloud Global Congress. Until next time.